Hey y'all, I am back and you guys have asked me to do some sort of video or tutorial on how I achieved the liquid acrylic painting that I posted in this group a couple weeks ago. So I wanted to share a few of the things that I do that I feel like makes a really big difference in the flow of the paint and the way the actual um, lines and the patterns and all of the fluid motions turn out. I use um, a pipette, which is this little thing right here, and you can get these at Hobby Lobby in the arts department. And I already posted when you guys asked me how I did this. This is all of the paints I use. I mix them in a cup with water, and then I have the spoons that I mix all the paints with. And I actually use the spoons as well to work the, um, the paint into the canvas. So I'll show you guys. Um, couple examples of, of how I do this, but there's really honestly no right or wrong way to do it. It's really just kind of up to you, but like I'll just take the spoon and just kind of um, put some paint there and just kind of drag it through and, you know, just add little things here and there wherever I think I might want some movement or motion in the painting. But this is just really simple, easy, it creates um, some really cool lines in the painting. And then with the pipette, what I do with it, let me get out of the paint and clean it out real quick. Sorry guys, I'm in my garage and it's a disaster. We're moving soon, so I overlooked the mess. Um, okay, back to it. Um, it's like, for example, this is the pipette and what I'm going to do is just go in and add a little color there, but you see how it just kind of really makes it kind of cool and has this really cool fluid motion about it. So anyways, that's enough. I'm um, sure you guys have um, are done hearing me talk. So um, I just wanted to post something so uh, anybody that might be interested in doing one of these and you're wanting some similar movement, this is really the way that I achieved it. So, um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed.